Hey everybody, Brandon here from CAD Intentions and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at how to turn on and off the various frames within AutoCAD. So that would be the frame or line around your images, PDFs, OLE objects or wipeouts to name a few. Uh, so I'm going to show you guys how to turn each of those on and off as well as a quick trick to make sure all of your settings are correct. If you guys like this tip or want to learn a bunch more, don't forget to check out my AutoCAD productivity webinar, uh, which is 20% off to all of my viewers and subscribers. I'll put that link down below as well as up above right now. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy. Let's get going. <laughs> All right, let's get started. I'm gonna keep this one as quick as possible. So many of you have probably inserted or uh, attached an image, a PDF, uh, an object into your drawing, and you can see this line or the frame around the outside. You can see on this one here, it's white. Uh, and on this one here, it's red. On this PDF over here, it's white as well. So these two here are images and this is PDF. So AutoCAD is a little confusing in this way because each object type is going to have a different command. For images, it's image frame. So that's all you need to know. You can type in image frame and that's going to give you a variable. So if it's set to two as mine is, you're going to be able to see the frame around the image or PDF, but it's not going to print when you print it. So this is kind of a nice way to leave the setting is so you can see it within your drawing you can still select it and move your grips and see the extent of your image really easily, but it's not gonna print when you go to create a PDF or plot your drawing. So another option would be setting that variable to one. So I'm gonna type in image frame again and change it to one. So one is going to print as well as show the image frame. So if you've got images that are printing with a black border or a PDF with a black border and you want to remove it, you're going to want to change it from one to either zero or two. And then the third option here, as I just mentioned, is zero and zero is going to remove it. So you can see that the line is not uh, shown for either of these images, but you can see over here that it is still visible for this PDF. So as I mentioned, each object type has a different command. For images, it's image frame, and for PDFs, it's PDF frame. So you can type in PDF frame, and you're gonna have these same options, zero, one, or two, with zero not displaying, one displaying and printing, and two displaying but not printing. So I'll change this one to zero, and you can see it disappears. Now the same is goes for uh, OLE objects. You can use OLE frame. You can also use wipeout frame to remove the border or plot or not plot wipeout frames. So if you've stuck around this far, I'm gonna show you guys a quick trick to set and keep all of yours the same. So if you go to the insert tab up here at the top, there's this drop down here showing you frames vary. Uh, this is telling you that the frame setting for each of these different objects varies. You can easily and quickly set them all to the same by using this drop down. You can set them all to be hidden. You can set them all to display. So you can see it turn them back on or you can turn them all to display but don't plot. So there you go. That's a quick trick that could save you a bunch of time. Uh, but for the most part, you're going to want to probably have these individually set depending on the type of drawings you use. Some cases you might want the boundaries, say for a PDF, uh, but maybe not for an image or a logo that's an object or an image. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys have any questions or comments, let me know down below. And don't forget to subscribe and check out my AutoCAD productivity webinar on sale right now. And the link is in the description. Cheers and have a good one. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to check out my last video right here. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe up here to make sure you're up to date and you see all my new videos. Thanks again. Cheers.